exactly what it is. It's about winning the fucking competitions. Everybody's on their goddamn own. I understand that. You don't have anything to worry about with me. When you, I mean, when you guys proved, I mean, told me that, or proved to me that that was okay, that you were willing to, that we were all mutually willing to play by the same rules, I'm, that's why I gave you, that's why I let you guys, you know, I wanted to prove to you that you could understand that, <coughs> that you can, you can hang on to me, I'm all right. And actually, I put you in the, I, I told Danielle, I put you in as the first key, because I thought that it would be humiliating for your daughter to call you Dick. <laughs> <laughs> Did you say Dick or Dad? No, I put you as the first key, so she didn't have to say. Oh, oh, oh. I was like, I can't see Danielle going, here you go, Dick. <laughs> like, here, Frank. Here, Marianne, how about... I, I, I never called my parents by their first name. I think that's She strange. always calls me Dad. She doesn't call me Dick. Well, yeah, but... <laughs> No, my son, that's a different story. When he talks about me, it's, like, funny, because, like, he, he won't say Richard. He always says Dick, and his friends all call me Dick and Evil Dick. And <clears throat> well, I mean, that, that makes sense, but, or sort of. I mean, you're, you're, like, a youthful father, but I just find that weird, like, from a daughter. Here, Dick, here you go. You're safe. I don't know. That's the one thing that popped through my head. I was like, uh, that's pretty funny. Just such a fucking weasel, dude. Now, if you owe me a chess game, yes, I do. <laughs> oh, I thought we were playing one in real life. <laughs> and uh, if if me and Danielle wins HOH next week, obviously Eric and Jamaica will go up. If one of them gets the POV, um, obviously, even with the agreement with Jamaica, Probably she's going to pull up. Well, we're going to have to put you up as a pawn. You're going to have to trust us I know. that the other one will go home. Because all it takes is one vote. One vote. It doesn't right, matter what the other vote the is HOH because the HOH picks. is the tiebreaker. Right. Yeah, I fear that. I don't fear that, but I fear that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. Back you know your what, bags your is never fun, to make even but... more sense now, now that I'm pondering that in my brain. Say it again? The theory that you have with Eric leaving next week is starting to make a lot more sense. It's, it, he's going to be on a fucking tear, dude. On a fucking tear. And if it's buzzer questions, we could be in trouble. But I'm just saying, in, it, given competitive edge and given what I've seen in the entire game, she's like, Jamaica is like it's nothing. Horrible. 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 But she, she, it'll be the she biggest fucks herself to death with 50 million fucking questions. Dude, what moves has Jamaica made in this game gameplay? Nothing. She, no, she made two. She took Jen off the block. Bravo. Which was nothing. What else? What, what, she fucking gave up five HOHs for what? For a POV that didn't mean Does shit anybody to know her. the answer to that yet? No, she doesn't even know the answer. <laughs> I think it was divine intervention. She gave a finding to witches for a POV that means nothing to her. This game will be the biggest upset if she makes it to the final two and wins, though. The hugest upset in Big Brother history. Uh, let me tell you something. If if that happens, we all fucking deserve to lose. Period. End of fucking story. You're completely right. You gotta take fucking chance, man. I completely we agree. can't get through this fucking game. Plans don't always work out I know. as you think. And there's, you know what? Even though it's, it's even though there's three competing in HOH next week, me and Danielle and Eric, I seriously would not be surprised if we won. And trust me, I'm going to be fucking busting my fucking ass no matter which one it is. And I've come very, very close the last two HOHs. One, one against you and one against Jessica. Dude, you weren't even close. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you this, motherfucker. If we voted you out, I would be HOH this week. <laughs> <laughs> because Amber wouldn't have had a goddamn shot in hell. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. No way. 
I mean, granted, she is a waitress. <laughs> <laughs> you imagine the fucking duck walk back and forth there? Are you kidding me? <laughs> I'm gonna get a drink real quick. I'll be right back out. I'm in. Did they call you in the DR last night, like at four or five in the morning? Yeah. Very early. Just her. Send her out of here, and if you don't get her now, so we don't have to do it. Final so five. Like that can be sent out here, and uh, you know, and we could just stick with the number and call her back if we don't make it. But you know, if we need her, we can just stick with the number for a little bit. Let's do it this time. I have to admit, I'm just really worried about you. Like, won't feel like an eternity. And even if we decide to take a nap again at, let's say, six or seven for two hours, <laughs> then it's really a, a winning day. Yeah. Morning. <laughs> What's shaking, boys? Uh, we were still laughing over you crashing yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I feel so much better. I feel so much better. I'm sure you guys can tell. I was so tired and sore yesterday. I was fucking dying. I seriously felt like hell, but I already can tell that I feel a shitload better.